this adventure yet. Scan the QR code now to sign up. May, as you know, is Stroke Awareness Month, and so we're going to have a conversation this morning. And before you might think, oh, that doesn't apply to me, the truth is, yes, it does, because Dr. Rashir Shaw is here this morning. He is the medical director for the stroke program at CHI Memorial. We were just chatting off camera that it seems like strokes, A, are hitting people at younger ages, and even by younger, you could be in your 20s and 30s and have this happen to you. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, as, as we were discussing, the stroke is not just a disease of old people anymore. The statistic, like just very recent data shows that 65% of the stroke happen in younger than 70 years old. So it's no longer a disease of old, it's affecting more and more young people. It's just because that how the lifestyle has changed and how uh, the overall kind of stroke risk factors has increased in the younger population. So let's Let's share some numbers because they're a bit staggering, but they are ones that we should know. And we'll also talk about knowing your numbers uh, while we're having this conversation. Am I right that one in every one, wait, in every 40 seconds, someone's having a stroke in the country. Is that the right That's statistic? That's right. Every 40 seconds, someone has a stroke in the United States. And to explore, to make it more bigger in the world, in, in the world, every three seconds, someone is having a stroke. Uh, and so, and in U.S., a stroke affects like almost 800,000 people in the year, and and unfortunately, every three and a half minutes, someone dies from the stroke in the U.S. And yet here, we happen to be in what is called the stroke belt. So that is bad for us on the one hand, good for us on the other, because we have experts like you uh, who are bringing new and innovative uh, technologies and advancements to our care every day. So when you have a stroke today, there is real hope and help, right? Definitely. Like just in last 10 years, how the stroke treatment has evolved. Uh, 10 years before, if someone has a large stroke, that was not that much hope that, hey, the, you are disabled for the rest of your life. But now, if you come to the hospital in the timely manner and you get the right treatment for that stroke, many patients you surprise, they just cannot move their one side of the body completely and the mm -hmm. next day they are going out home independently, completely independent. So the stroke treatment has evolved significantly and now there is significant hope compared to what we had in 10 years At ago. Memorial, over the course of the last couple of years, y'all have really worked to create a complete, um, kind of once you're in the door, continuum of care almost for people at the hospital. They yeah. don't have to leave. No, they do not. So. We worked very hard at Memorial and now we have, we are very proud that now any stroke patients or by the fact any neurological patient comes to our door, they get all comprehensive service line including the neurology, neurosurgery, neurocritical care mm -hmm. and any, any sort of outpatient neurology service also so they can get comprehensive treatment when they come to our door. When you said that time is of the essence, so mm -hmm. let's say that someone uh, tonight happens to experience something, even if they're not sure that it's a stroke, should they go? Definitely. So uh, I would just kind of give the brief education on the BFAST symptoms that many people as a community awareness that a BFAST is B for if you have a sudden onset of balance, you're not able to walk or you're leaning on one side, E for I that if you have a sudden onset of loss of vision or loss of peripheral vision, blurry vision, F for like if you have face drooping on one side, A for arm or leg weakness on one side or both side, and S for speech if you have difficulty speaking, and the T is the essence of time, right? That every minute, as you mentioned, that uh, brain lose two million neurons in the brain. So when somebody is having a stroke, even though you are not 100% sure, it's better to call 911 and come to the hospital right away because there are certain treatments, certain things we can do only in first few hours when the stroke happens. Mm -hmm. And as I and the longer you wait, you lose more neurons and more cells in your brain as well. So, so if you are at home and this happens, don't take, don't have someone take you to the hospital. Call 911 because they can even administer some things in transit. Exactly. Is that right? So uh, uh, there is. They can administer, they can look for your blood pressure, they can manage your blood pressure on transit. If there is an oxygen requirement in transit, they can work on that. Mm -hmm. Some people might have, if it's a, they're having a major stroke or major bleeding in the brain, mm -hmm. it can compromise their breathing also. So the mm -hmm. paramedics can 
take care of all those things on the route and th things go south very quickly when somebody's having a stroke. I only have about a minute left. Is there anything that we should have at our homes uh, that we have on the ready in the event that we experience stroke symptoms? No, I think the main thing is identify the stroke symptoms, make yourself aware of the st uh, stroke symptoms uh, and just remember to call 911 and to come to the hospital. And I would emphasize that 80% of the strokes are preventable. So it's very important to work on the prevention, like blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, your lifestyle, smoking uh, and vaping, all those are important risk factor to work with your primary care doctor. And part of that comprehensive nature of what y'all do, if you should find yourself there at the hospital, they also have stroke navigators so that once your medical side of your journey is complete, they work on the physical therapy and everything with you. We have comprehensive therapy like occupational, physical mm -hmm. and speech therapy in the hospital, they work with them. And in addition, they have a stroke support group also that they can kind of work in a community and have kind of connect with the similar people who they Thank they you for your time story. this morning. Yeah. Here's where you will find more information always at memorial.org backslash stroke. Their phone number 206-4140. Uh, remember, put on your refrigerator that be fast and that way you know what to look for should the unfortunate happen. Thank you again. Yeah. Thank you for having me. How? Mm -hmm. Budget Brakes will replace your brakes for the lowest price anywhere and you get a lifetime guarantee. Relax. <laughs> Budget Brakes. Brakes starting at just a hundred bucks. Relaxing. Is the air conditioning technician here yet? Nope. Twelve hours late.